if you are a neurosurgeon, you are the only neurosurgeon who specialized in that field in the whole world and you're coming into Canada to come and perform brain surgery on the Prime Minister, you will still not be issued a permanent resident card outside of Canada. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marina here and I'm excited to welcome you to another video. If it's your first time here, you're welcome. My name is Marina. I make videos from Saskatoon in Canada where I share about my experiences as a Nigerian immigrant living in Canada. I also share information to make your settling into Canada seamless. So please do well to hit that um, subscribe button and turn on the notification so you know every time I post new content. To the returning subscribers, welcome. Always such a pleasure to have you here. Um, before I go on, I'll just take a minute to say thank you to all of you for the warm wishes that you left in my last video. I truly, truly appreciate all of that. Thank you very much. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be talking about something really serious. Um, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be talking about Canadian immigration scheme that is currently floating out there and what you can do to avoid falling prey to their scams, okay? If this is information that you'll be interested in, please do well to keep watching. ago guys i made a video about how to spot a fake immigration consultant and in that video i asked you guys to um send me the immigration consultants or the agents that you're dealing with um and i'll verify for you if they are licensed to provide immigration advice and oh my god guys i got the mail the emails in hundreds in hundreds guys i'm not exaggerating i got over a hundred emails because of that and in the hundreds of emails that I got, you guys, less than 5% of you are dealing with licensed immigration consultants. I thought the trend was very disturbing when I kept seeing um, the emails come in and it was a no, no, they are not licensed, no, they are not licensed. Well, it was very disturbing and I thought it was time for me to come back here and update the information and let you guys know that these guys are not joking. They have updated their scams, but we are equal to the task. We will match them fire for fire. Fun fact guys, do you know that after I made that how to spot a fake immigration consultant video, there were a couple of attempts to hack some of my social media handles. It might be coincidence, but is it? Is it really? <laughs> Which means that they know that we're on to them guys. I'm not going to stop. I will keep sharing the information. If it's going to save one person at least the stress of having to lose their money to these fake guys, then it will be totally worth it. If you like hack my account, we'll open another one, okay? Anyway guys, today I'm going to be debunking their scams. I'm going to be talking to you based on the feedback that I've gotten for you, from you guys, from the um, correspondence that you have with your agents and the kind of things that they're promising you. That's what I'm going to be using to debunk some of the things that you have been told, okay? The first thing that I see is happening out there is that these agents are promising people jobs. They are telling you that um, they will find you a job in Canada. You will have to pay them to do that. They will, you will pay them to get you a job in Canada. But the juicy part of this offer is that you don't have to pay their entire fee upfront. They tell you that you pay a portion of the fee and then when you get to Canada, you will pay the balance over a period of time because they will be deducting the balance from your salary. Guys, complete hogwash. First of all, it is not legal for you to pay anybody to get a job in Canada. To get a job from overseas, the employer in Canada has to prove to the Canadian government that no other person in Canada could do that job. They have to prove to the government that they have tried to fill that role internally and they could not. So now they are considering getting people from outside of the country. It is a rigorous process. The labor market impact assessment is a rigorous process. The employer has to prove that they are capable of paying salaries, they are capable of paying transportation costs, and in some cases, they are going to have to pay for accommodation. The employer has to do all that with the government to justify why it is okay for them to employ somebody from outside the country. So that responsibility is on the employer not you who's looking for the job so when these agents from outside um, that don't even live in Canada tell you that they can get you a job and then you pay back on a monthly basis it is not a legal arrangement and the last thing you want to do is to come to this country caught up in a web of lies so you want to be very careful with those promises those bogus promises chances are when you pay them that installment in your home country to say okay get me the job they are going to set up fake interviews I have heard feedback like that somebody has paid 
paid the um, upfront amount they set up fake interviews and they tell you okay we'll get back to you we'll get back to you and you will never be able to hear from them again so be very careful before you pay that amount the offer sounds juicy it sounds like it's a good deal but if you scrutinize it properly you will see that there are holes in that arrangement so please be very careful it is very difficult for um, people to get jobs from outside Canada especially now and the reason is because of what I just mentioned the employer has to prove that no other person who's already legally able to work in Canada can do the job they have to justify why they are employing people from overseas and right now with COVID with the economic impact of COVID there were a lot of layoffs in different places there were a lot of um, organizations that shut down businesses shut down so there are more people who are jobless now in Canada than there has been in recent times so this is even the absolute worst time for people to get jobs from outside of the country it will be harder for employers to justify why they are employed from overseas so be, be very careful there are still some professions that people are able to get jobs from outside the country no doubt but i'm saying you want to be extra sure and make sure that you're verifying the information that you're getting before you just part with your money because somebody promised you a job the second thing that i see is happening is that these agents are promising people work permits they are promising that if you pay them a certain amount of money, they'll be able to get you work permit. Now, this is closely related to the first one because, I mean, for work permit, somehow you need a job. You need a job offer before you can go and apply for work permit. So sometimes they come up with these fake um, offers and sent to you. I saw an offer letter that was sent to somebody once, guys, and my heart completely broke. This offer letter was a job posting that had been posted on the job board in Canada. This agent copied the job posting and put it on a Government of Canada letterhead paper and sent it to somebody as a job offer. The person was going, in fact, the person had already fallen for it because the person had paid them a certain amount of money when they gave him that job offer. And it, it shocked me when I saw that. Like, first of all, they tell you that the offer is from a law firm in a certain province, but you get your job offer and it's on the Government of Canada website. Is it the Government of Canada that employed you or is it a law firm? I mean, if it's a law firm that's employing you, shouldn't your offer be on the law firm's letterhead paper? Why is it on the Government of Canada letterhead? And when I read the offer letter, you guys, it was clearly a job posting that was copied from a job board. But somebody paid money for that. So you guys really, really need to be careful. When they send you those kind of job offers and you see it, you are happy, then they proceed to work permit. When you assume that they have made progress by getting you a job offer, of course, you will pay them more money to progress to the next stage. And then they issue you work permits. You guys, I have seen a work permit that was issued. It has been sent to me. Work permit that was issued. So here's the thing, a work permit will never be issued from outside Canada. Here's how it works. If you get a job offer, if you get a valid job offer, and the same thing applies to study permits as well. If you get a jo valid job offer from a Canadian employer, you will not be issued a work permit in your home country. Instead, you will be issued a work visa that will be stamped on your passport. That visa is what will grant you entry into Canada. It is when you arrive in Canada at the port of entry is where your work permit is issued. The work permit is like a letter. It's a separate document from your passport that allows you to work. The visa allows you entry into the country. The work permit allows you to work inside the country. So there are two separate documents. If an agent in your home country issues a work permit to you, it is clearly fake because a work permit, like I've said, will never be issued outside Canada. It is always issued at the port of entry when you're entering the country. It's the same thing with a study permit. One of the emails that I got, a, an agent actually applied for their study permit for them, but this person did not ever get login details into the online portal to go and check the status of the application themselves. The agent came up with a rejection letter and sent it to the person and said the application was rejected. Clearly, that application was never done. The person just collected the money and didn't even do anything. So people are falling prey to this kind of scams. I just want you to be careful so that you don't keep losing your money to these people. If it's a legal arrangement, you will get a work visa stamped on your passport. The permit will be issued upon arrival. It is the same thing with a permanent resident card. You guys, as strange as this sounds, I have actually gotten an email from somebody who the agent scanned the front and the back of their so-called permanent resident card that had been created in the country where this person um, originates from. 
the agent sent him copies to say your permanent resident card is almost ready it's now time for you to pay the last installment and this person was on the verge of paying so permanent resident cards will not be issued outside Canada permanent resident cards will not be issued in Canada and mailed overseas the government of Canada will never mail a permanent resident card to anybody even if you're a Canadian permanent resident who's overseas and your PR card has expired you're trying to renew it they will not mail the renewed PR card to you if you need to travel back into Canada you will apply for a permanent resident travel document that's how you get into the country and then you will renew the card when you are in here so to see a permanent resident card issued in this country it just made me really sad guys and it tells me that a lot of people don't really take out time to read a lot of people don't really take out time to check out these things before you give these people money i try to think about the simplest way to explain this and you know what comes to my mind even if you are a neurosurgeon you are the only neurosurgeon who specialized in that field in the whole world and you're coming into canada to come and perform brain surgery on the prime minister you will still not be issued a permanent resident card outside of canada you must be in here Think about it guys for those of you who have landed in canada recently why was your pr card not issued to you why did they not say welcome to welcome to canada and give you the pr card you still had to put down an, a canadian address it was that address that your pr card was forwarded to do you not wonder why pr cards will always be traceable it has to be traceable that's why it goes to an address the pr card is a document that is not treated anyhow okay so please don't be deceived it will never be issued to you in your home country do a little research guys do a little research this these agents are constantly reading they're constantly upping their game that's why they can tell you crap and it sounds like it's the correct information but if you will just go on the canadian immigration website on your own to verify this information and to look up some of these things you will very easily identify the loopholes in the stories that you get i understand that people are busy you don't have the time to do this on your own that's why licensed immigration consultants are there that's what their job is that's what they are trained for and it is in your best interest to use a licensed consultant because they have something to lose if you work with a licensed immigration consultant and you feel like they have misled you there's a whole body that regulates them that you can report them to and their licenses are on the line so they have things to lose okay a lot of you have asked me okay can you recommend somebody at this time guys there's one licensed immigration consultant that i've checked out i have scrutinized i have checked the quality of her work and that's one person i can recommend and for those of you who have emailed me recently you know who i'm talking about it is this licensed immigration firm called info place canada info place canada is a licensed immigration firm that is based out of regina in canada the lead consultant her name is florence Akman, and she is very thorough in her processes go on her website check her instagram page you will see the testimonials and some of these people i have recommended to her and they come back to me with this testimonial so it's not a case of uh, people who um, employ people to give fake reviews on their websites no that's not what's happening here this person is tested and trusted for me integrity is a big deal info place canada is a trusted immigration firm that you can work with I'll be leaving their information in the description box and I'll be leaving it on the screen as well. Thank you very much InfoPlace Canada for partnering with me and for sponsoring this video. I hear some of you say, oh no, licensed immigration consultants are expensive. I hear the amount of money that some of you have paid to these agents who offer you nothing. At the end of the day, when you put together how much money you pay to those fake agents, a licensed immigration consultant will not even charge you that much okay so take a chance if you really want somebody to do this work for you if you cannot go on the website and do this process on your own then an immigration consultant licensed will definitely help you and for me right now info place canada is one trusted name that i know i will recommend and go to bed with my two eyes closed fake agents have nothing to lose they have nothing to lose they will tell you to doctor documents they will tell you promise you all these bogus offers at the end of the day when you submit your application with fake documents guess who's going to get banned not the agent you when you are banned the list is like five years if you are banned from misrepresentation do you know what can happen in five years your passport will expire IELTS will expire the credential evaluation that you have done will expire and guess who's five years older you know the importance of age in this process so guys be wise open your eyes don't try to be smart to say I'm looking for a quick one I just want the process that will be fast fast some of you send me those emails like which immigration pathway can I follow that will be fast that will get me in Canada in two months you guys it's only broom that can get you in Canada in two months
<laughs> you have to climb on a broom and fly here before you can boycott all the processes guys patience is part of this game patience is a part of the game so when you start giving your agents those i want it fast fast of course they'll tell you nonsense that will fly with you fast fast so be careful with the desperation turn it down when they tell you things go on the irlcc website and verify the information for yourself please don't be penny wise pound foolish by saying immigration conductor is so expensive by the time you calculate all the money you are giving to agents you have paid more than what a licensed consultant would have charged you so i just thought i could come here today and warn you guys like like these scams are increasing by the day you have to be on top of the game to be able to see through the lies that people are telling you and sometimes all you have to do is just one quick search to verify and be sure that okay what this person is telling you is the truth okay i hope you learned something from this video please guys please if you did not hear anything that i said here today always verify information that you're giving when agents promise you these things or they tell you you're going to pay me four thousand for this ask them what exactly am i paying for what service exactly are they going to be offering to you that you're paying for and then you must verify that they are in a position to legally provide that service for a fee well thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you learned a thing or two from it if you did please leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll be very happy to engage with you on there guys once again don't forget to check out info place canada i'm going to be leaving the website in the description box i'm going to be leaving her instagram handle as well so do well to reach out to her for everything immigration for study permits for express entry for whatever peculiar case you think you have info place canada is equal to the task okay do well reach out on our instagram page go and follow her and say hello as usual from marina okay thank you very much for watching this video guys and until i come your way in my next video it's your girl marina saying thank you and have an awesome day bye guys